Hey, Coach Jones here with Hoops University and I want to show you two counter moves that really can't be guarded if you sell it and do it the correct way. All right, now look, I got some drip on me. Usually I don't do this. Usually I come out here and whatever, okay, because you know what kind of vibes it is right now since we're stuck at home. But as always, white sock shoddy, albino toes here. Check out this content. Check out these counter moves. They want to help you take your game to the next level. All right, so this first move, what I've heard the terminology from a lot of other trainers is an inverted drag. So picture this, you're a guard, big man, and you're driving to the paint, and the defender is running. So he's no longer sliding with you like this. He or she is actually running with you to try to cut you off to make sure they're in legal guarding position. Fun fact! Fun fact, legal guarding position is this. Offensive players, if your head and your shoulder is past the defender's torso, so if I'm in this driving position, and my head and my shoulders is back, Coach Marcus, help me out a little bit, don't mind. Coach Marcus here with Hoops University. All right, Coach Marcus is playing defense eight. So if I'm driving and my head and my shoulders is past his torso and he makes contact, technically that is legal, illegal guarding positions, okay? So one more time, if I'm driving here and I get past him and he makes contact, that is illegal guarding position, okay? Whether he has a hand up or not, okay? So while He's still here. Let's talk about this position. So let's say coach is trying to guard me. He's running. Now, boom, we got the defender in this position. Okay, oh, my fault, coach, six feet away. So we got the defender in this position, all right? He's running. Now we can make a inverted drag move here, okay? Now, a lot of people make the inverted drag, but they don't have a counter move after the fact. Appreciate it, coach. Of course, so thank you, sir. <laughs> so after this inverted drag here, what a lot of guys don't have is a move or girls, they don't have a move afterwards. So what you can do is a foot replacement into a shot. You can go here, you can do a, a switch or a little hip swivel and then drive, which is what I like the most. What I realize is the most effective because when guys or girls get in that defensive position to where they're running and they get what I like, Chris Paul, one of my favorite guards, he always does this inverted drag and he always gets that inside hand. He has a little shove to it, a little nudge that referees don't really pick up and it's not extended enough to call an offensive foul. Okay, so you can use a little nudge with your arm or you can use a little nudge with your shoulder here depending on how close in proximity that defender is. All right, so if you're sliding and the defender gets that inverted drag and gets a little push off, usually they're in this position where they're stuck and their feet are planted, okay? Now, that's where you take advantage of the opportunity, all right? So, I get that inverted drag here, my defender's stuck, he's in a bad, or she's in a bad position here. Now I wanna hip swivel, get my feet replaced so where my right foot comes in front and I'm ready to attack. Now, if you're advanced and if you're elite, you're in that esoteric group of ball handlers who wants to just be tough to guard, I suggest you add a hesitation to it, okay? So the hesitation has a few little micro skills or nuances that make it even better. One of those micro skills is having your eyes up as if you're about to shoot and having your off hand close to the basketball. Now, too far away doesn't sell it as much. You wanna make sure that those fingers are up towards the ceilings, pointing up, not down, not in, and they're right by the basketball. So I'm gonna practice this move. I'm going with my inverted drag. My ball side foot is gonna be planted in front of me. I wanna make sure I'm extended and I'm driving full speed to the basket and I stop on a dime and bring that ball under. And then after I make that move, I'm gonna get my hip swivel, boom, here, and make sure I'm not gonna carry the basketball. Now, the ball hand is under the basketball, it's illegal. It's palming or a carry. Hand could be on the side or the top, okay? So I'm gonna make that move again. I'm driving, invert the drag, boom, hip swivel, and then I'm gonna go with that footwork, switch it, switch my hips, swivel my hips, and then I'm gonna drive to the basket to make sure that I take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime and the lifetime of the opportunity. All right, shout out to ET on that one, Eric Thomas. So I'm going one more time, uh, under, hip swivel, get my feet set, eyes up, hand by the basketball, and driving to the basket. So I'm going to this one to the right. Okay, so I'm driving, hip swivel here, boom, hezzy, and I want to freeze briefly. So when you freeze, the defender most likely is going to freeze as well. And what I like about that little hip swivel there is if I'm here and I get to this hip swivel, I can drive, yes, which I think is the best opportunity because picture this. If I'm defending and I'm sliding this way, which foot's in front? My right foot, right? My right foot's in front, so it's easier to attack that lead foot and it's harder for me to recover on that. Let's say you have a really, really good defender who you have to add two moves to. Okay, so that defender recovers. I get a hip swivel here, get into this little staggered speed stop or this hip swivel in the stance. I can step into space and go right into my shot if that's necessary. Okay, so just practice those variations. You're only limited by your imagination here and the rules of the game. So make sure we're not carrying or doing anything else illegal or having any offensive fouls. Okay, so I'm gonna go left here, hip swivel, boom. I can go into my shot 
or I can go left here, hip swivel, boom, and cross over. Again, I don't see why you would do that, but you may have seen a read that I haven't seen or I can't see because I'm not with you right now. I wish I was, but I can't be, okay? One more time, here, I'm just under. I'm going to right into my hip swivel, into that drive, okay? So that is the first counter move that I think is almost unguardable. Really, okay? So the inverted drag, when you're guarded by somebody who's really, really aggressive and adding a little hip swivel afterwards once that the defender tries to recover. That's the first one. The second one, it includes a similar hesitation, but you're gonna have a different setup going into it, okay? And here's that setup. So if I'm catching the basketball, I'm gonna jab either right or either left. I'm gonna cross step, make sure that ball and that foot hit the ground at the same time. Now, before I even get to that, make sure that this jab is effective. But in a way to make a jab effective, you want to make sure that your elbow is out, not too much where you're rocking the ball too much, and it's uncomfortable like you're jabbing and you're putting too much weight on that right foot to where you can't explode off of it. But you want to make sure you have a good base, okay? Centered base, and you want to make sure you're driving and that elbow's coming outside your body frame and that shoulder is coming outside your body frame too. Hoopers! The most important part, you have to make sure that you are jabbing and you're selling that. Because when you go to high school, college, pros those jabs get real okay and they've seen a lot of basketball a lot of good basketball that so these jabs these moves have to be convincing a fake doesn't look good because it's fast a fake looks good because it looks real okay so i'm going i'm jabbing here jabbing right i'm going to cross step the ball and play at the ground at the same time because the travel is if i step and the ball's not out of my hands or at least i'm not in my dribble motion burp, travel come over sit on the bench by the coach all right so Jabbing here, selling that, that jab here, like I'm going to the right or left, cross stepping. Now, when I cross step, ball foot the ground at the same time, I'm gonna step here, a uh, short chop partial step, and I'm gonna do what we call a staggered speed stop, okay? Now, a speed stop will be here if you're going into a pull up, but I'm not gonna get my left foot, my outside foot, in that close as if I'm shooting. It's gonna stop short, partially step, so I have that staggered footwork. Now, on that step, I'm gonna get my eyes up. I'm gonna have my hand, again, right by the basketball and, and hands up as well. Okay, so I'm jabbing right, boom, speed stop. Oh. I'm going right into my fake. Now, if you do this too fast, you may not sell the move well enough. Okay, so again, let's have a good balance of convincing and a good balance of speed here. So one more time, slower, jabbing right, cross step and dribbling, partial speed stop, eyes up, hand up. I'm gonna keep dribbling and going into my drive. Now, I, I don't know which foot is best for you to step with here. You can step, boom, with that left foot, but I think it's better to cross step with that right foot so you don't delay the dribble too long. If you delay the dribble too long, it may look weird. Referees may call a uh, carry because they haven't seen basketball like that before, okay? So we'll cross step in here, boom. I think the cross step is better, that inside foot stepping is better so it's a lot faster, okay? So the first one, inverted drag. Here, to a hip swivel, into a hezzy. The second one, we're gonna jab, right or left, partial speed stop with our eyes and hands up. And I'll give you a little bonus because I'm feeling really, really, really generous right now, okay? I guess really, really aggressive defenders. It's not a counter, but it's a really good move. I saw J-Law B-Ball do this, all right? If you have any guards or any defenders who are really pressing up on you like this, they're really up in your grill, you don't have much space to make any moves. What we can do, we can turn, and we can land in the same spot here. All right, so if somebody's trying to play too aggressively against you, what you can do, turn, make sure we balance right here. We're on the balls of our feet and we have a really good turn to where we can drive to the basket. So if somebody's pressuring me too much, turn, we can drive and play out of that too. All right, so practice those first two mainly and add that bonus going to the right and going to the left, making sure you don't move that pivot foot, okay? This helped you out. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you cop some white socks. I know I got Nike and Adidas on. I'm not sponsored by either one. So uh, this is free content. You get what you pay for. Don't be mad at me. Check us out. Comment below. Subscribe. And I'll check you in the next video.